um like situations like this really happen like people would like you gotta do you, y'all gotta say no yeah, people would i like, can't don't feel bad people would like <laughs> mismanage their money mm-hmm. and then once they get stuck in a uh, in certain position or whatever the case may be they'll come for you come to you for help mm-hmm. but it would it would be an ongoing thing like it would be always happening and they feel like they can always rely on you until you give them that no the mm-hmm. strong no then they feel rejected they will stop coming but as long as they they're comfortable because being comfortable is not good no right it's not it's not good right what so do you mean being so what i mean so like when being comfortable like not in that context like oh you know obviously we are striving to to become wealthy so we can be comfortable mm-hmm. spend time with family and all of that right mm-hmm uh, to have access to more resources. Not mm-hmm. that comfortable. I'm talking about in a general sense of like being comfortable in certain position, right? Because you get stuck in that position. Mm-hmm. For example, let's say you get comfortable on sitting on your couch and just watching TV. You don't go to the gym. You get comfortable in that, right? Mm-hmm. Or let's just say, um, you know, I don't want to go. I don't want to go for a run today, or whatever the case may be. I don't want to go for. I don't, I don't like running. I just mm-hmm. like to just chill. Mm-hmm. You know. You know. You know. Your, your your muscle and your bones need some type of activity in order to keep all your you know you know bones and muscle going and you know blood flowing and everything so i say that because if you keep saying yes to somebody they get comfortable mm-hmm. so they're more likely to come and say yo can you do this for me can you do that for me so I they get so they get stuck in that uh comfortable you know uh uh what you must, what you might call it like mood you're always their crutch exactly right so when you say no it's like you bust the bubble yeah pause right yeah like you just bust pause right you just break that what is it what is it saying um you just break that habit yeah once you say no they feel rejected they might hate you or whatever but what you have done you have saved yourself you don't save yourself from somebody asking you for something that you probably don't have or you don't want to do so yep. that's what I, I was saying that for that reason and one thing that i always say and i've been i've been i'm very adamant about boundaries like that's something that's super important to me and what I would say is if you and going along with what you're saying, mm-hmm. stand strong on your boundaries. Yeah. You know how when they would say like stand strong on business, that's what it is, right? Stand on it. Stand on it. Yeah. Stand on your boundaries. Like stand on your boundaries, meaning that the more you stand on your boundaries, the less people are even going to think about your name when they need when when cer- certain things like this happen. Mm-hmm. I don't even want you to think of Noomso when you are in that like and when someone is in that type of situation knowing that it's their fault yeah. that they're in that I situation be an option that's like head. ridiculous yeah I shouldn't be a <laughs> you're head. neglectful yeah. I don't even want you to think about my name in that situation <laughs> so and, and honestly and I've I've like I feel like like no one really in my surroundings I've I have I've surrounded myself with people who don't even if they are neglectful secretly in their lives they don't even like come to me and tell me about such neglectfulness like it's not even like a yeah. thing you know i would say respect like, yourself mean people always like let me not just say mean i mean somebody can say they're mean right selfish people mean people because they they quit selfish with being mean right and then mm-hmm. we don't talk about this on episode was it two selfish versus selfless and then we say there's positive selfish and there's negative selfish, mm-hmm. right? So, um, with that being said, it's like when you say no to people, they just, oh, he's not a good person and whatever the case may be. Yeah. And my whole point is positive selfish is you put yourself first and you put others second, right? Mm-hmm. This doesn't, except for your kids. Parents. Your, your parents, your wife, you know, brothers and, and sisters, right? To a certain mm-hmm. extent, right? Mm-hmm. So, I'm saying that to... To say that you have to be selfish because sometimes if you're not selfish, if you're giving away your resources all the time, you have nothing for yourself or you nope. won't you won't have enough to even help. Nope. Right? Exactly. So exactly. you have to put your use positive selfishness yep. to put yourself in a certain position where you can provide for more than just one person. Yep. Right. So you have to do it that way. So it's it's very important. Yep. Yeah. No, I agree. And and also what I was saying that mean people or selfish people are usually successful and mm-hmm. i feel like they're happier mm-hmm. within that context that i just broke down yeah this selfish, like specific selfishness yeah. yeah you're not talking about people who are 100 percent selfish yeah, like you're yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. there's a certain bound there's level of selfish and selfless you know when to be selfless but you make it you make sure that like it's for the right people and it's for and it doesn't yeah. continue to take away from you yeah. and chip away at you exactly so yeah so pretty much that's it so okay i'm gonna give you another scenario 
I'm going to see if she can say no. Okay? We're going to see how strong her no is. Okay. Okay, so, you ready? So, this is the scenario. Okay. A group of friends, which you're a part of, right? It's all hypothetical. Okay. You guys go go to the club. Well, this is not the, fir- this is not the first time. You guys have a schedule set. Like, okay. every Saturday, you guys go to the club. Right? Okay. Let's just say every Saturday, Friday, you guys go to the club. And Saturday, outside, turn. Right? Okay. And then, every time you guys get to the door, your friend always like, oh, my God, I left my wallet. You oh. have cash on you. Uh-huh. Right? Mm-hmm. It happens. It happened more than once. Mm-hmm. Right? With you and other friends, too. But she's the main person that always asks for money mm-hmm. once you guys get to the door. Mm-hmm. So, let's say this happened. It's been going on for a minute now. Mm-hmm. Right? And then today is the day. Yeah. Right? And then she she does it again. Yeah. You guys get to the door and she says, Hey Numso, I you know, I don't have my cash on I don't I have my card. Oh no, let's just I don't I left my water in the car mm-hmm. and I need cash to get in. Mm-hmm. What are you saying in that situation? First of all, after the second Mind you, wait, mind you, you guys are at the door in front of everybody. Yeah, after the, the conversation first, is loud and clear. After the first or second time, after the <laughs> It's not happening more than two times. Well, in this scenario, let's just say in this scenario. Okay, so in the scenario, if I was generous enough for it to continue to happen. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, okay, so in that particular example, mm-hmm. I would say, all right. In front of everybody. If, yeah, if, if I allow this to go, go on for more than two times, um, okay, uh, do you guys take Cash App or you guys take Zelle, et cetera? Okay, just sell them. They take Zelle. No, they don't up. take Zelle. They only take cash. Oh, okay. They- yeah. <laughs> they, they only, only take, take cash? cash? Yeah. Okay, so let's say they only take cash. Um, How much is it? How much to cover? Uh, $20. Oh, I, I only literally took out $20. That's the only thing that I had for myself. No, so in I this case, because, sh- you know, as we go, I'm, I'm going to add because I want to see. Okay. Because you have $100 on you. It's only $20 to get in. Oh. But she's been doing this stuff over and over again. Okay. Okay. Right? And you know she's doing it on purpose. Yeah. Can you sell me the 20 now? And then I'm going to give it to you once you sell it to me. Her phone, her screen is broken. She can't do it. Mm. You have to wait for tomorrow. Okay. So, so moment, in, this, in this particular case, I will do it. And the reason I will do it is because whenever I go out, like if I'm going out with my female friends, like... I'm not about to leave you outside by yourself. I'm not, I'm not about to leave you in a club by yourself. Like to me, I think bigger in terms of like, um, it's more from like a safety sp- uh, standpoint. Mm-hmm. So it's either A, my options are this, right? Either A, we're both going in and I'm paying or B, we're both not going. And then for me, if I, if, if we're already at the steps of the, of the, of the club, that means you had to get me to get ready, to get dressed, to put makeup and do all of this other stuff. I'm not going back home. Okay, I because this is once in a once in a while. I don't really like going out that much. So, um, in that particular example, I would give the money. But rest assured, once I give that money, once we get inside, I'm gonna tell you this is happening. Like you continuously are forgetting your wallet, and I'm gonna remind you in the morning. I'm gonna give you a call, remind you in the morning to sell me my twenty, my run me the rest of the money that you owe yeah. me. And then next time going forward, every single time we go out, oh. Make sure you uh, you got your wallet. Make sure you get your wallet. Actually, you know what? Uber stop in front of the ATM so that she can get her so yeah. so that she can get her money. For sure. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full video, click below and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you guys like, comment, and share.